Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to record a business process in advanced mode in Microsoft Dynamics AX R2. So here's my server. Here's uh, my Microsoft Dynamics AX R2 client. So what we're gonna do is fire up the recording, uh, which you click on File, go to Tools, and click on Task Recorder. There are a few settings needs to be done. If you don't know how to uh, set up uh, or configure task recorder in advanced mode, please watch my video, how to configure task recorder in advanced mode. So I'm gonna quickly show you right here. Uh, we have a parameters right here. This is going to be where our video is going to be saved. So we're gonna go ahead and give that ad, um, uh, path. So we're gonna go ahead and close. N industry needs to be set. Uh, for me, I have already set up industry. Tech Brothers and name of the industry is Tech Brothers. Framework needs to be set. As you can see, my framework is already set. And hierarchy level is n needed as well. That how many hierarchy in this particular um, process you need to do. Keep in mind that the recording modes are uh, two in Microsoft Dynamics AX. One is basic mode and other is advanced mode. In basic mode, you can have uh, the process uh, Word document uh, and a screenshot and also the recording but in advanced mode it'll collect a lot of metadata such as SQL Server tables that particular process is hitting so we need to set up advanced mode in this case in this particular video so we're gonna go ahead and close this one and up here if you uh, look at it in the record we got a root up here we need to select the framework what we created in setting and industry what we created in setting and then we're gonna go ahead this is the root um, node and root node cannot be modified any node that you wanted to create you need, needed to be created in the root node so uh, root node basically is your framework underscore your industry so when you click on a uh, new node that means you are going to uh, set up a new business process recording so we're gonna go ahead and click on new node our node name is create user setup that's our name and we're gonna go ahead and choose one of the uh, business process up here we're gonna go ahead and choose system because I'm going to use uh, this uh, system module to create a user so we're gonna go ahead and do the system and this is our supporting process because I'm going to show you how to create a user uh, in Microsoft Dynamics AX. So we're gonna go ahead and select supporting process. And up here, the second option, uh, first option is core process. If your uh, process is core, such as customer, and then you show how to create a customer, how to delete a customer, how to update a customer, that becomes supporting process, but your core process would be customer. So in this case, I'm going to directly go ahead and show a supporting process. So we're gonna go ahead and click save. As you can see right here, the user setup is uh, up here. Um, and a couple options up here, module. I selected si uh, system because I'm going to work on system module. And usage up here is, is it a setup or is it a master process or is it a transaction? In this case, it's going to be a setup. So we're gonna go ahead and click setup because we're setting up a new customer, a new user. So we're gonna go ahead and um, um, start our recording. And then once I hit the recording uh, up here, the start, it's gonna minimize itself and then we're ready to um, create a user in Microsoft Dynamics AX. And then after we create the user, we will look at different parameters, different uh, setting of our uh, uh, recording and we'll go through some metadata as well. So we're gonna go ahead and click on start. So it is ready for us. As you can see that I'm already in system administration view right here. If you don't know how to get there, you're gonna go ahead and click on this. This is being recorded back behind the scene. So we're gonna go ahead and click on users and click on all users. Here is my user. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new user. Click on user. This will connect to Active Directory. So we're gonna go ahead and click on user ID. So we're going to do George, George B, George Bailey in this case. So up here the username would be George and our network domain is techbrothers.local as you can see. Alias would be your uh, username in Active Directory which is 
George B. So if this George B is not found in Active Directory, then you can it's going to throw you an error. So we're going to go ahead and click on Enable. As you can see, the Active Directory user group does not exist. So we're going to go ahead and close that. I just did it on purpose so that you will uh, uh, know that if if that particular user does not exist in Active Directory it's going to throw you an error so we're gonna go ahead and complete this now and we're gonna go ahead be George this is my Active Directory particular user so we're gonna go ahead and enable that let me take a look basically so we're gonna go ahead and take a look the user name and up here is our George Bailey so I'm gonna go ahead and look at the account account name is G B A L E Y so we we'll need to provide G B A L I L E Y so if we click on enable now it's gonna enable and as soon as we click on add, assign role it's gonna add it to the system user and then we're gonna go ahead and assign a role which in my case it's going to be an employee so we're gonna go ahead and click on employee click OK as you can see right here uh, it's a time registration worker so we're gonna go ahead and save this particular user and we can close this now and we're done creating user so since we're done creating user this is one of the business process that we needed to do for a setup let's say that uh, somebody uh, who is admin administrating uh, Dynamics AX and need to create user you wanted to show them that how to create a new user in Microsoft Dynamics AX this is the process to follow and you wanted him to look at or her to look at the documentation how to create the process so we're gonna go ahead and now stop our recording which you can do it from here or you can click back on file and recording it will show right here as you can see that is uh, uh, we have a stop up here the stop recording of a business process enabled we're gonna go ahead and stop it and wait for it to put all the information related to that particular process in the folder that we have given so once this is done which is done so if you look at the setting back there and up here is our right here it's uh, uh, our folder where we are actually basically saving the recording so we're gonna go ahead close this close this as well so we're gonna go back to our directory if you look at it this is the directory in the parameter that we defined we're gonna go ahead and click Tech Brothers, Tech Brothers. If you notice, this is my framework, this is my industry, and this is how it's going to save our processes. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on that. And as you can see, it's a user setup process. So up here, uh, you have recording. You have uh, up here recording if you open it in MS Word. If you look at it, it will show you all the screenshots right here so this become one of the process and it'll tell you right here that uh, how to create a clip where did you click and everything if you got uh, an error it'll show you that there too so this is um, really a good process so we have a word document up here that we can share with any other uh, admin and um, and they can follow this particular process and create user in Microsoft Dynamics AX and up here is your recording uh, if you play that recording it'll play in Microsoft uh, uh, um, Windows Media Player if you don't have Windows Media Player installed basically your recording will not start because that's one of the prerequisites that you have to have um, Windows Media Player installed where you're doing your recording on that particular server so if you're using Windows 2008 or R2 or uh, uh, Windows 2012 you can go ahead and enable uh, in um, 
desk desktop experience um, a feature windows feature and that will enable windows media player in that particular process but um, just to show you a, a little bit difference right here is recording and up here is recording this is uh, if you do it you're recording in basic mode this is these are the two things that you will get uh, in your folder but since we have done it in advance if you look at it up here is a process raw steps and I'm going to do that this is just uh, um, once we upload this is just a notepad file and once we upload it'll show us that you clicked here you click there even though we have the word document but sometimes folks don't care about the uh, screenshot they just wanted to follow the wor word to word line by line process so that's what it given us up here is XML documents both are XML documents this is up here all the things that you have done so this is more metadata than basic uh, recording and that's how you do the advanced uh, recording in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2 and I hope this video helps